Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. Today, I want to talk about the, the secret of the secret. So one day I'm going to write a book and I'm going to call it The Obvious. One day I'll write a book and I'll call it The Obvious. Uh, it'll be the sequel to The Secret. Because the, uh, the half-truth in The Secret is fantastic that, you know, you tune into it, you raise your vibration, you become it. The law of attraction is fantastic. However, every creation is created twice. Once in the invisible and then once in the physical. The other half of the secret is the obvious action that you must take in order to see it manifest. And, and the obvious action is very important. So one thing just to write down, there's no such thing as taking inaction. Time is always moving. So you're always taking some sort of action and inaction or procrastination, you're still doing something else. Sitting on the couch eating Doritos is sitting on the couch eating Doritos. That's an action, even if what you thought you should be doing is going to the gym. So it's still an action. So you're always doing an action. So there's never an action uh, that you really need to take, but there's always something to do. You always, you know, there's always something there. So it's very important. So the secret secrets is that there's an obvious action because you're always taking an action. Does that make sense? So the secret secret is there's always an action because you're always taking an action. And as, as much as you choose to close your eyes and imagine that you're a standing up person, if you stay sitting down, so I'm sitting down in my chair, if I close my eyes and I tune into being a stand-up person and then I just sit down. Action is the highest form of communication. I'm communicating that I'm not that. You see that? It doesn't matter how much you tune into something. If you take a different action, you're giving yourself a invisible or silent instruction that is counter to it. Does that make sense? To truly be it, to truly see it, you must be it. So not only must you create it in the invisible, you then must be in the flow of becoming it. The seed sitting in a jar on someone's shelf doesn't create the forest. Even though in the invisible, the seed is the forest, there's an action. It must be planted, must be fertilized, it must be nurtured, it must get the right water and sun, and then it becomes a tree, and then it becomes another tree, and then it becomes a forest. There's an action in order to manifest. This is very important. So I had some really fun conversations with some amazing people uh, in my life recently. And, and what was so fascinating about that is that we avoid taking the obvious action a lot. So there's the action we should take. And then there's what we do to avoid what our ego is trying to not experience. I'll give you an example. About eight months ago, I realized that one of my highest level team members wasn't in the right position and didn't have what it is that I needed. And what I decided to do, instead of having the obvious conversation that it wasn't the right position for them, for me, for everyone involved, and it was causing all sorts of challenges. Instead, what I did is instead of having the direct conversation, I went and spent $10,000 and bought them a training program. And I thought, oh, you know, we'll get you trained. Then about three or four months after that, I realized still it wasn't right. So instead of taking the obvious action and, and having the conversation, it's not right, it's not right for you, not right for me, did all sorts of things, change, change structures, change team, all of these things. Until about three months ago, I went away on holiday and I realized, you know what, I just need to sit down and tell them the truth. And I was stressed and I didn't want to do it because the truth was for them, for me, that it wasn't the right position for anybody. Uh, it, was, it wasn't working. And boy, did I not want to do that? My ego wanted to be the pleasing one, wants to be the one that, that never has any, anything happen that's bad. So I overcome my limits. I have a meeting with this person and let them know. I don't think that the role is right for them. And there was tears. There was upset. It was, it was, it was not fun. I said, you know what? You know, here's a great severance package. You'll, you'll be looked after. Let's catch up in a few weeks. Caught up in a few weeks. And guess what? They thanked me. 
They said, you're right. I found this much better role. I'm earning more money. I've got less stress and it's right for me and different tears. Thank you, tears. And it was such a profound moment that I realized I just put it off. I put it off and put it off. And it wasn't just me that was putting it off. Unconsciously, they knew it wasn't right for them either. And everyone, everyone was better off. And now great friends and everything's great. But I guarantee if I hadn't had done that, resentment was building, frustration was building. Does that make sense? It was all going to go the wrong way. Now we're friends. We catch up. It's all good. Everyone's happy. Another example of this was just a few nights ago. A really good friend of mine rings me. Chris, I really want to, you know, got this, this new manifestation. I want to get this new house. I really want to get it. Like, and here's how the choice. Chris, is this, is this choice written the right way? You know, or should I add this? Or how should I write the choice? And I said, oh, do you know what you need? You know what you need to do? Here's, here's the secret. You know, make sure you write this down. You can sort of heard him lean in and I said, okay, what you need to do? You need a pink sparkly pen. You need to write your choice with a pink sparkly pen because then it will manifest. So obviously he laughs, I laugh. And I say, mate, what you need to do is you need to go take some obvious action. It doesn't matter how you how you cross your fingers or, or which way you, you look into the wind or how you write this choice. You know what the choice is. You've been telling it to me about this house for six months. I said, it's obvious. You need to go online, find some of these houses, go look at them, find the one that fits what you want to do, go get finance and put an offer in. Guess what? 14 hours later, he comes in and lets me know that he's put a deposit out on the perfect house, the exact kitchen he wants in the exact location, better than he could ever imagine, $600,000 uh, cheaper than the one that he's living in, that, he was, that he's renting, that he think, thought was going to be it. Magic. And it was always just sitting right there. It was always right there. And, and so it, it's like once we get clear, there's an action, but we avoid it. See, he was avoiding that action because there's someone who needed to ring to be guarantor on the loan. You see that? And so instead of knowing that he goes for it, he rings this person and has to say, hey, I need you to be guarantor of the loan so I can get it. It was avoiding it. You see, instead of me having the conversation and having to go through this hard conversation that, that I knew was right, I'm avoiding it. I'm doing everything else and everything else is getting worse. Yesterday, I had someone come in, I'm talking to them and they've got this opportunity to go out and start being a coach, but they've got this this uh, arrangement with another business and this other business pays them really good money, like multiple six figures. And this person's worried, what will they think if I'm doing all this? And I said, have you asked them? Have you asked them? What would happen? Is it okay if I go and do this? This person says, what do you mean? I'm like, just send them an email say, I want to do this. Would that affect our agreement? This person says to me, oh, that kind of goes a little bit flush in the face because you're right. Why haven't I done that? And I'm like, because they might say they don't want you to do it. But the thing is, if they don't want you to do it, you need to go and handle that now instead of doing it and then waiting for the consequences. You need to go and handle it now. So what's the point here is consistently we avoid taking the obvious action and we buckle to the, the unconscious agenda, the, the, the sabotage pattern of what we just don't want to handle. Who's ever had this happen to them? You know there's something you've got to go do and you keep just kicking the ball down the field. You don't go do it. You know there's something you need to do. You know it. You need to go to the gym. You need to eat the right food. You need to tell that person I love you. You need to say it's over. This is what needs to happen. You need to do it. I quit. I do that. You need to do it. You know it's there. And does avoiding it and doing everything else really stop that it's there? Yes or no? It doesn't, doesn't move it, does it? It doesn't matter how much we tune into everything else, it's bloody there. And as soon as we handle it, who's had the experience? As soon as you handle it, it's a challenge. It's frustrating. It's, it's, you have to overcome yourself. You have to do it. What's it like once you do it on the other side? What a relief, isn't it? You just go and have, and so we waste so much time not doing what's obvious. True, we waste so much time and energy. There's an obvious thing that needs to happen. I quit, I sign up, 
yes, I love you, it's over, we need to sort this out, this annoys me, that. We, we just don't do what is needed. So my question to you is, where, where in, uh, that's funny, Mark, that's one of our team rules. Uh, one of our team rules is for forgiveness is, uh, you know, we ask for forgiveness, not permission, it's a team rule. And so it's so important to ask yourself, where right now is there an action that I just need to take in spite of my negative feeling about it? What action is needing to be taken in spite of how my unconscious is feeling about it? Mm. What is that? What is the actions right now in my life that I know it needs to happen? Sign up to the gym. Stop doing that. Throw out all the alcohol. What is it that I know I need to do? Whatever it is. I don't know what it is that I need to do in spite of these feelings. Because what a lot of us are doing is we're living out of these feelings. We're trying to avoid the feelings rather than just doing it. And what happens is as you do it more, it becomes easier. As you overcome yourself and you take the right action, taking the correct action becomes easier and easier and easier every time you do it until you go, that's what I need to do. I do it because what you learn is not doing it doesn't solve it. In fact, it's easier to kill the dragon when it's just a little baby. But you avoid that dragon and you let it get bigger and bigger until it's breathing fire and it comes out of that cave. It's a problem. It's much easier to handle it when it's uh, when it's small. True. So, so today's about taking the obvious action. There is an obvious action that is paired with every single creation that you want to create. Does that make sense? There is something paired with it. Makes sense? There's something that matches it. So every creation, there is an action. You want to create a house of your dreams? You need to find it. You want more clients? You need to ask people to buy from you. To ask people to buy from you, you need to have an offer. To have an offer, you need to have a website with offers on it. You see what I'm saying? There's, there's literally an obvious action for everything. Yet most of the time, we're in one of two realities. One, we know what we need to do and we don't do it. Or two, we're lying to ourselves and saying, I don't know what it is I should do. Whenever you're in the, I don't know what I should do, you're avoiding what's obvious you're avoiding. And this is why my book will be a very short book. Whenever you're saying, I don't know what I should do to create that. It is such a deceitful lie to yourself. Because really, number one, there are people who can help you know what it is you need to do. So if you don't know what to do, maybe you could ask someone, maybe you could read a book, or maybe you need to take your best guess of what could be a good option and figure out where that leads you. Make sense? There is always an obvious action. So when you look at your choices and new people, you're gonna be creating and writing down a list of choices. Where, where's my choices? They're here somewhere. Choices, when you have your choices, every single choice that you have that you're working towards creating there is something that you can be doing in the physical that's moving you towards these. And the reason is, is that the other half of the secret is the obvious action. There is no way to not be taking an action. Life is an action sport. It's an adventure. It's about focusing on what it is you want to create and then taking the obvious action whatever that obvious action is to you. So how is it that we can start to see the obvious action and then take it, okay, in, in a more repeatable way? Well, the first thing is to figure out what that action is. 
Make sense? Figure out what that action is. So we're going to go through our little wisdom process to get the correct action. Once you have the action, what needs to be done? There's, it's very binary. Either you're taking that action or you're doing an action to avoid it. And if you want to be a creator, the more that you stay in the structure of the action towards what you're creating, the more you will find yourself in a creative tension and creating what you love. So we've got to always remember that there's the two different structures that we can live in. There's the two structures. There's the current reality moving us towards our desired reality. And then there's the current reality that's focused on some sort of wounding. Those are the only two places we're in. So I, instead of having the action and just going and having the conversation to build the business I want, I was too busy trying to not be someone that was perceived as the bad guy, letting a friend down. That's what I was doing, you see. Instead of my friend just going and getting the, the, uh, the property listings and going and seeing them, too busy not wanting to ask for help. Too busy to not want to say, hey, hey, granddad, could I get you to, to be the guarantor on, on, on this loan for me? Rather than realizing the one thing in the world that granddad would love to do is to help grandson get the house. Too busy doing this rather than this. You see, too busy here. My friend, instead of going and starting their, their business and just having the conversation with the current business, say, hey, would it be OK if I do this? Too busy saying, well, I don't want to ask because if I ask, they might say no. And I, I don't want to lose what I already had. You see that, everyone? You're either in one or the other. So you're either going for what you love or you're buckling to this tension. You're never in, in the middle. You just, you just simply can't be. You're either a creator or you're a problem solver. In every single one of your choices, in every single moment, you're either creating the family environment that you love or you're, you're focusing on the way that you're wounded. You're, you're, you're doing what's needed. You're going for it or you're not. And there's, there's no middle. And this is the other half of the secret. The secret is a half truth. The law of attraction is a half truth. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's a half truth. And it's so, 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 so crucial for us to really, really get that that is true, but it's not the whole story. The other part of the story is taking the action and being in the world. We didn't turn up in this experience just to sit in a mountaintop and, and avoid being in the world and fully experience it just in our mind. We didn't do that. Why? Because we already could do that. If you're the all, that's what we all will get back to is having it all. We're here to be a, a not and to be a have and to be able to create it. Get into that invisible law of attraction and then move into the world. And what happens is as you move in with the obvious action, things start showing up. Momentum is very attractive. See, if you're the seed creating the forest, if you're in this, if you're in that, if you're becoming it, things show up, things turn up, good things happen to those that are moving towards it. And it seems like magic, but nothing happens if the only action you're taking is in alignment with this. When you're in action with this, you just keep attracting more of that. And that there is not the law of attraction that you want. So I want everyone to write this down. The law of attraction sucks. The law of attraction sucks because it doesn't have a conscience. You just attract what you are. You attract what you're, uh, you focus on. Does that make sense? It doesn't, it doesn't say, I'm only going to attract what you meditated on for five minutes this morning. It attracts what you are. And so if you sit there and focus on, I want to make more money, and then the very next thing you do is, is you, you do nothing and you sit around and, and, uh, and notice how you don't have any money, you're just attracting more of that. Does that make sense? Yeah, you must be in it. It's how you are. You must be it. And to be it, action. Action is the highest 
form of communication because action is what you do, what you be. When you action, that is when you tell all aspects of you that you are this, you see. When you overcome and take the action to sit down and say, I don't think this is right for you, this role, you're acting in you, then your whole part of you knows that you're willing to do what's right for the business or for the mission, not what's right for your ego. If you keep avoiding it, all you're doing is saying that you're a scared little boy that can't just go handle or do what's needed. Does this make sense? Action. So you must be in it.